Welcome back to the Sonia Eastep Designs Irish Short Sew Along. Today we are going to be constructing our pockets, both front and back. I just wanted to mention that we will be slightly going out of order from what the tutorial mentions. First, we are going to work on our back pocket pieces. If you remember, our pattern piece had a template. You want to cut out the template. Keep in mind this template is just a general rough guideline to get you started. When you cut out your template, you're going to place that on your pattern piece. Now, depending on the fabric I'm using, I will use a different marking pen, marking crayon, pencil, things like that, just to make sure that it shows up. Whatever you do, make sure it washes out and it'll show up. In this case, I'm going to go with this pink crayon, or chalk, I should say. And all you're going to do is lay your pattern template on here and just gently do an outline. one and then you will do it on the other side as well make sure you mirror your pattern piece just like your mirrored your shorts line it up again with your shorts piece and then trace it And now we have our markings on here, both sides for our back pocket pieces. Okay, for this next step, uh, we will go and serge the top edge of both of our pocket pieces. This part is optional, but I like to do it because it gives a little extra stability to the top of your pocket. I do want to mention if you decide to add your own um, detailing, top stitching on the pocket, like a decorative one, you will want to do that now before we do any more further assembly. Now we're back and we have surged the top free edge of our pocket pieces. I like to use a wash away wonder tape on this. So I put a piece of it on my surged free edge. If you don't have this or you don't wanna use it, you don't have to, it's just my personal preference. And we are going to fold down our pocket top three quarters of an inch. And you can pin it or clip it in place, but I use the washable tape so it is on there and it's not moving. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. And then we will go and edge stitch this fold in place on our sewing machine. All right, you should have your pieces edge stitched now at the top. And now what we are going to do is fold this side, the bottom, bottom, and this side in one quarter of an inch. Uh, you can press it at that point and clip it, or you can use wash away wonder tape. The nice thing about washable wonder tape, it's a quarter inch. So I can just place it right along the edge of my pieces. And I know that when I fold it over, it's exactly a quarter of an inch. And when I'm doing this, I like to do uh, the two outer sides and one of the bottoms first, and then I do this last one. That way it kind of overlaps the edges. Now, I do like to clip them just a little bit because the clips seem to pr push it down and hold those points for me um, to keep them together even better until I get over to the machine to stitch them. Okay, so here's one. And we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to this one. Now we have both of our pieces ready for a next step. You have your pocket pieces ready to be attached now temporarily to the back of your shorts. This one I've already placed on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. The wash away wonder tape is perfect for this. You will take the wash away wonder tape and you'll place it on all the sides, leaving the top open. Once you have your washable wonder tape on here, you're gonna take it and match it up to the markings that you made on your pants piece. 
Now we have both of our back pocket pieces um, temporarily attached to the back of our pant or shorts. And you're gonna go ahead and leave it like this until we have finished construction. That way, if we need to move them, uh, we don't have to take any stitches out and put holes in our fabric. So your, your back short pocket pieces are done for right now. Okay, let's get started on our front pocket piece. So for this step, you have two of your front short pieces mirrored and two of your pocket lining pieces mirrored. So you're gonna take one of your front um, shorts piece and you're gonna attach the pocket lining right sides together on it. And then you're gonna pin or clip along this curve. Now let's go and do the other one, same thing. Right sides together. And now you're gonna go sew or serge this at one quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, we have now serged or sewn um, your pocket lining to your front. So it looks like this on one side and this on the other side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pocket lining and we are gonna actually flip it over so that way now our pocket piece or our front piece and our pocket lining are wrong sides together. And you're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just clip this right now, but you're gonna go ahead and go press this. And you really wanna give this a good press because this is what's gonna keep your pocket um, smooth when you're attaching it later to your shorts. Okay, so this is the part that you're gonna go press it. And then you're gonna top stitch this one quarter inch away through both layers. When you go to top stitch this, you wanna make sure that you do not stretch your fabric so that way it prevents any puckering from happening on your pocket um, opening. Now we have top stitched our pocket right here. And now we are going to take our pieces and place them right sides up. You are gonna take the pocket lining and also flip it so it is right sides up. Do the same thing here so you can see the mirror. And then you're gonna take your pocket bag and you're gonna place it right sides together on your pocket lining. And you wanna line up this edge, this curve, and up here to the side. And you're gonna clip or pin this into place. Again, right side up, flip the lining so it was also right side up. Take your pocket bag, right side down onto the lining. And now you're gonna take it to your serger or your sewing machine and you're gonna sew from here, down this corner and back to this end on both of them. Okay, now we have serged or sewn the pocket bag to the pocket lining. And now you're gonna turn it so that way the pocket bag is facing right sides up. Your pocket lining is facing right side down to that. And then here's the front of your shorts. And now what you're going to do is you are going to take this to your sewing machine and you are going to baste along the top here and the side here to secure your pocket into your front piece so that it's a continuous piece uh, for later on when we go to construct the rest. All right, so at this point, you should have your tops and your sides of your pocket, your pocket bag and your lining all basted together to secure it as one front piece. That is it for the pocket pieces for the front and we have the pocket pieces for the back. And then tomorrow we will come back and we will finish our assembly.